Today, I'm going to show you five different things you can cut with an egg slicer. I'm using this metal one because it's nice and strong. Of course, it's meant for hard-boiled eggs. Once you've peeled it, you just put it through the slicer, and you're left with these beautiful thin slices. The first thing I'm going to try is a strawberry. They seem to be just the right softness, and it works perfectly. It doesn't squash out too much juice, and you could use it if you're making a fruit salad. Staying with fruit, I wanted to see if it would work with a kiwi. I decided to peel it first. So I chopped off the ends, then used a spoon to separate the skin from the fruit, all the way around. I put it in the slicer and gave it a go. As you can see, it didn't really work. It just went a bit mushy and made a horrible mess. So I decided to try again with another kiwi. And this time, instead of putting it this way around, I turned it 90 degrees to see if it would make any difference. And it worked really well. It gave nice even slices, and they look really pretty. You can also use it with an avocado. Normal avocados are obviously far too big to fit in, but I did find these small avocados fit okay. Carefully cut it in half and remove the stone. I used a spoon to remove it from the skin, and place it on the slicer and it's soft enough to slice really easily. You could use it for salads, or even as a sandwich filling. It works really well with mushrooms too. And you get this really lovely profile. You can eat them raw, or use them for cooking, and they're ideal for a pizza topping. And on that note, I decided to see if it would slice a mozzarella. I drained the fluid out and removed the cheese. It's a little bit big for the slicer, so I held it together as I brought the cutting arm down. It made a little bit of a mess, but it actually worked really well. It gave me these nice, even, thin slices of mozzarella. which are perfect for on a pizza, along with your mushrooms. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more, you can click on the links, or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.